In this video, we're going to have a look at solving trig equations. This is the second lesson on solving trig equations. Okay, we've got three examples to work through. They look very similar um, to the example just today. This time, they're all going to be equal to a negative number, though. So we'll have a look at what we need to do there. So example one, we want to solve cos x is equal to negative 0 0.6. And it just says that x has got to be in between 0 and 360. Okay, so as always, our first step is we need to draw our cast diagram. Okay, so all sine tan cos 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. It's quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. Okay, so we have a look at our question and it says cos is a negative number. So we want to look to our cast diagram and find where is cos negative. Well, cos is positive here and here. It's positive in the A and C quadrants. Therefore, it must be negative in the other two quadrants. So cos is going to be negative here and here. So our angles are, that we're looking for are going to be between 90 and 180 and 180 and 270. First thing we need to do is we need to find our acute angle, just as before. So we do inverse cos of 0 0.6. We drop the negative in this case. Um, we use the negative to identify the quadrants we're in, but we drop the negative uh, when we're finding the acute angle. So when we do that in our calculator, we should get 53.1 degrees. Okay, so we use the negative to identify the quadrants, um, but then from there we proceed as if it were not negative. Okay, so we've found our acute angle. We now need to find the related angles. Once again, we have angles in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 3. In quadrant 2, our angle needs to lie in between 90 and 180. And we always work from that horizontal line, so we're going to work backwards from 180. We're going to do 180, subtract our acute angle. In quadrant 3, our angle needs to lie in between 180 and 270. So we're going to work forwards. Okay, from 180, so it's going to be 180 plus 53.1. Generally what I say to classes a lot of the time is we work from the horizontal line. So we've got 126.9 degrees and we've got 233.1 degrees. And those right there are two answers. We use the negative to identify which two places to tick, but then we drop that when we're finding the acute angle, and then we find our associated related angles. That was example one. Example two, we want to solve tan x is equal to negative 2.3, for x is in between 0 and 360. So as always, every single time, our first step is going to be to draw our cast diagram. All sine tan cos 0, 90, 180, 270, 360. This is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. So we are told that tan is negative 0 0.23. So tan is a negative number. Well, tan is positive here and here. Therefore, it must be negative in the other two quadrants. Tan is negative in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. Our step now is we find our acute angle. To find our acute angle, we do inverse tan of 2.3. Remember, we now drop the negative. And that is going to be 66.5 degrees. So we're now, we've now found our acute angle. We can then go on and find our related angles. We've got angles in quadrant 2 and in quadrant 4. In quadrant 2, our angle needs to lie in between 90 and 180. 
So we're going to work backwards from 180. We always work from the horizontal line. So we're going to have 180. Have x equals 180 subtract 66.5. And in quadrant 4, it needs to lie in between 270 and 360. So we're going to work back from 360. We always work from the horizontal line. So we're going to do 360 subtract 66.5. So 180 subtract 66.5 is going to give us 113.5 degrees. And 360 minus 66.5 is 293.5 degrees. And those are our two answers here. And finally, example 3, solve sine x is equal to negative 0 0.5, x is in between 0 and 360. I'll just once again draw a cast diagram. So, all sine, tan, cos, 0, 90, 180, 270. 360, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4. I'll just try and move this out of the way if I can. Okay, so we'll refer back to that in a wee second. So we've got sine x is equal to a negative number, negative 0 0.5. So we need to find where is sine negative. Well, sine is positive here and here. Therefore, it must be negative in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4. Our next step, what we want to do, is we want to find our acute angle. To find our acute angle, we'll do inverse sine of 0 0.5. Once again, we drop the negative. We use the negative to identify the quadrants that we're working in, but from then, we drop the negative. So that's 30 degrees. To find our related angles, so our related angles are in quadrant 3 and in quadrant 4. So in quadrant 3, our angle needs to lie in between 180 and 270. So we're going to work from the horizontal line, and we're going to work in this direction. So we're going to take 180, and we're going to add on our acute angle. It's going to be 180 plus 30, which is 210 degrees. And in quadrant 4, our angle needs to lie in between 270 and 360. So we work from the horizontal line and we're going to work backwards. So it's going to be 360, subtract our acute angle. Which is 330 degrees. Okay, so hopefully those three examples have given you a good idea about how we can get going. The main thing you need to watch out for is identifying the right two places to tick. And then from there, drop your negative and then find the appropriate angles. Thank you very much.